That should be his car over there, that Saturn. Police department. Talk to you about something. Hey. Hello? Yeah. How's it going? Do you mind if we come in and talk to you? Um, can I come outside? Yeah, you can yeah. come outside. Let me go get my cigarettes. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. I can't smoke in here. You can't I smoke. I got a cigarette for you. No, I, I can go over there. All right. They're in my room. I don't have any weapons. You don't have to worry about. Can I any come in with you? Why do you need to do that? Because we get kind of worried when people wanna well, leave. We don't know what they're gonna grab. I'm going to go grab my cigarettes, I'll okay. show you, I'll have them in my hand, I'm not going to put anything else in my hand. Well here, let's talk real quick and then you can smoke a cigarette. Cool. I would rather smoke a cigarette. Well, let's get out here and talk. And well then you come with me, you. Okay. Come with me. You stay outside. Producer. Are you? Yes. What kind of music do you like to play? Dubstep funk. Oh, okay. That's that is some cool. badass shit. It's kind of different. Yeah. So, what so brings you guys to this address? What's going on? The reason why we're here is because your girlfriend ended up in the hospital. Okay. And that's not a crime. It's, I know it's not a crime, but they called. Parkview called because they were concerned, and so I talked to her, and so now I'm here. Oh trying to figure out why she ended up in the hospital and what happened today. Well, if you got, do you guys have access to medical records? No. Okay. It's really easy, okay? I'm not, a, I don't have any responsibility in watching uh, Sophia, okay? That's okay. her granddaughter. And I am adamantly, pardon the pun, my name's spelling in there, um, I'm adamantly against her watching her 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 grandchild by herself. I won't do it. I'm not responsible. I don't have any kind of connection to that or or obligation. And I've stated that I I, I won't mind, I don't mind t opening a jar here and there for mm -hmm. her, but I'm not going to take on that responsibility. I got my own. And what brought this whole argument today, she and I argued, you know, disagreed, and had some choice words here and there today. And I did slam the door a couple times. I was pissed. I, was, I slammed the door and walked out that way. I walked it off. I, I didn't want to be around her. Yeah, mm -hmm. it happened here. Really. Yeah, it happened here. Yeah. She started, she has a habit of talking over me. See, she, that's what gets me. Oh, it gets me so shaky. I'm just like, oh. It gets me mad. So, you know, I just go out and say, I can't deal with this. Because I have choice. I can be there or not. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get behind the wheel. I know how I get. So I walk it off. I go out that way. And and when I calm down, I know she hasn't. She, she holds on to things. A lot. She holds. She stuffs it and holds on to it. Then it explodes. And so I have to deal with that. And I can't, I can't manage... The drama. I can't deal with that. I'm tired of drama. I'm a little naughty. I'm awoken and way above all that shit. I need to just focus in on what I'm doing, my life, my path, and do what I gotta do. What was what was said during the argument? Why is that important? Because it's part of the story of what happened. Okay, I'm just curious. Well, we got we got her side, and that's what we're talking about. Oh, okay, side, all right, right, all right. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Yeah. But I'm just saying that she and I argued about this whole situation. Okay, we we argued a lot. I told her I'm not watching her. And today, she was playing with this girl, kids. Okay, then she ended out over there, actually right over there by that tree, and I was like. How the hell did she do that if these people are taking care of her? Possession is nine tenths of the freaking law. Which means they're legally and technically responsible for her while they're watching her. Which means that whoever's watching her is neglectful and didn't give a crap about her. 
and I got yelled at over there when um, I came in, I came to get some cigarettes, came back, and I got yelled at. I got approached. By who? By her. What did she say? Rhea. <coughs> she, she said that you're not to yell at my kids. I said, who was yelling at your kids? And by the time I said that, she started growling and saying all these weird things. And then she said, I'm, you better get away from me before I hit you. And I said, well, if you're going to hit me, hit me then. Then I'll have something against you. Uh, and I, I didn't try to poke the bear. I just said, if you're going to do it, do it. Don't tell, don't tell me about it. Don't talk about it, be bad. That's right. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah what am I so I, I backed off. I told her a bunch of shit and stuck up for myself. I'm not going to take a bunch of bullshit from anybody. Okay? I stand up for myself. Then, I said, okay, let's, let, you leave, don't don't talk to me then. And she agreed. We're not going to talk. So we didn't talk anymore. And so, she, she was all just growling at me, just spitting words at me. I didn't even hear what she said. It was just bullshit to me. So, <laughs> neither here nor there. And so I walked in here, and I closed the door. I was, I was pissed. I slammed it pretty hard. Okay, I did slam the door again. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm responsible for my shit. I own up to my shit. But I'm not going to say I'm guilty for something that I'm not. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, yeah, I did slam a couple doors. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did probably curse and swear. And that's, I say the F word and a few other choice words pretty regularly in my daily speech. Okay? That's how I talk. That's how I've talked since I was a teenager. I haven't okay. quit. So, and when I was yelling, it's because she has a, te a tendency to chime in and try to talk full sentences when I'm already talking. And she says, well, you're, you talk so much. I'm like, so? You have to listen. Then I shut up, and then, then you talk, and that's how communication works. You can't hear me while I'm while you're talking, and vice versa. I point that out to her a lot, and she has that habit. And so I, that was part of the argument. It kept rolling and progressing, and I said, that's it. I, I fucking walked out again. I come out here and had another cigarette. And, you know, it just, it's annoying to me that I have to go keep going through this shit. And I'm not responsible for her blood pressure or any of that crap. Legally, that's unprovable. Does she live here? That's yeah. yeah. We're, I'm contractually obligated to the lease in here. Unless somebody buys me out. And she's already mentioned that. I said, if you're going to buy me out, throw that money at the landlord and I'm out of here. And I'm not leaving until then. Did the argument ever get physical? No. That, I, I won't let it happen to that. When somebody gets, starts approaching me like that, I step back. That's what I do. Because then they, they have no reach to, to touch me. So I can get out of that bubble. I've learned a lot of stuff about that. So, you know, I'm not going to do physical contact. Besides, it doesn't solve a damn thing. Does it? Did you throw anything at her or around her? Did I throw anything? No, I didn't throw anything today. Not today. I threw a box um, a couple days ago. Yeah, I threw a box. But it wasn't... Like, from this room to that room, it was just like, like that. And I did, oh, I did kick a box today. I didn't throw anything. I, it fell down, so like that, and it, and it fell down again. I kept kicking it like that, and I kicked it a little harder. And I did do that. So, yeah, I do remember doing that. Okay, she's, she's saying that she threw her cane. Oh, oh, I tossed that. Oh, I, I didn't throw it at her. I threw it out of the way because I tripped over it. She put it in the hallway, and, and naturally I'm going to trip over it. I practically fell down. I, I caught myself. And I just took it like this and chucked it out of my way because it was in my way. I was pissed. I didn't try to hit her with it. I knew where I was tossing it. I tossed it. Didn't throw it. I tossed it underhand. It was a toss. Like that. I tossed it out of the way. It happened to hit the couch and bounce in, and, it, and it bounced and hit her. So that wasn't my fault. I mean, I threw it out of the way, and it bounced and ricocheted off of something else. So that wasn't intentional. Okay? 
So, uh, thanks for reminding me. A lot of shit happens. And when I'm angry, there's no... I have a memory issue when I get mad. So I get the hell out. You know, that happens when you're emotional, then kind of... Yeah. I block shit out because it's traumatic, and I don't want to remember it. Do you remember where the cane hit her? No, I don't. I didn't see. I came back out into the living room later on, about 15, 20 minutes later, and she... Just like that. And I was like, and she was right in my bubble, right here. I backed up. I said, don't touch me. And she went, oh, I said, Psh. oh, so you're trying to poke the bear here. All right, I get it. So it's like a feeding frenzy off each other. That's what happened. That's the, that's the, not the uh, freaking dynamic right now. And I'm trying to back out. I'm trying to get out. I don't want to be part of that. So, that's just a bunch of drama. I don't even want to hear it. So, truthfully, I'm out. I'm done. As soon as I, my, my contract's up, I'm gone. I'm not going to be you here. Oh, well, I've got a friend in, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Canyon City, Florence area. So, yeah, I'm going to go over there. I came from there. I moved from there to here. What brought and you it, here? Huh? What brought you here? No, I've been, I, I lived here before. <clears throat> okay. And I was just like, I, I moved from there to here in Pueblo, and I wanted to change scenery a little bit. And I wanted to, you know, there's a little bit more opportunity here than being in a small town. But, you know, th there's, there's going to be an econo economic t uh, downturn. They're going to get rid of the, the whole thing's going to crash. And when it does, there's going to be a shitload of chaos. A fuckload of chaos. And I've heard that if I go back to a smaller, more rural area, safer place. I'm going to go back there. And I put a restraining order against the entire police department over there. They cannot come to my house or even contact me in any way. So, you know, they have to arrest themselves. <laughs> I know about that shit. So, if I want to screw with the, the law, I can do that. Very legally sound. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that you know, I'm not at fault here. I'm just trying to resolve this. I don't even want to deal with this situation anymore. I'm, I'm getting out of this situation. I am <laughs> far and away going, going to my friend Jeff's house. So. When the year when your lease is up? That or before, before um, she offered to buy me out. I said, well, if you buy me out, I'm out sooner. I'll be out at the end of the month. I'll be gone. I'll pull my shit and go be done so yeah that's what's gonna happen so until something gives I'm either gonna stay or go so that's what's gonna happen so yeah I'm not I mean I'll, I'll raise my voice and I will argue yes because I know I'm right yeah I mean I say I stay I stay to the facts I don't stray from the facts and she does that too, but she's more emotional about it. So my IQ is 162. Okay. It's two points above Einstein. You know? Yeah. So. Okay. What? Well, right now? What are you guys doing? Don't don't tense up. Don't tense up. I, 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 I don't understand what you're doing. What? I'll explain you here in a minute. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong, guys. And drop, this is illegal, this and I'm going to put a training order on this whole, I'm going to put a training order on your entire department. That's fine. And then you won't be able to get me anymore. Um, I, I've got to lock this door, and yeah, we'll I do wear that. adult diapers. Well, hey, we'll do that. We'll, Excuse yeah, me. What do you like to be called, sir? Adam. Adam. Adam? You want me to call you Adam? Yeah. All right, Adam. I'm going to be real cool with you, okay? You just, I just Why are you arresting me? We're going to explain it here in a second. No, I want, to explain, I want you to explain it now. So right now, by you throwing that cane and it hitting her, it caused her physical pain, so that's third degree assault. Since you guys are in an intimate relationship, that's domestic violence. Okay. In the state of Colorado, domestic violence is I a restable offense. I understand. I'm, you want an answer? Yes, I'm giving you an answer right now, so let me answer. Okay, all right. All right? All right. So, and then this is the thing. With her being legally blind, it's crimes against an at-risk adult. That actually, I looked that up, and it's been repealed. So, no, that's not true. You can't charge me with that because it's been repealed. Guess what? I'm going to charge you with it. You go ahead, but my lawyer... 
that's is fine. going to... That's something for the courts to figure out. That's, that's right. That's what I'm charging right now, because I looked it up in the 2017 statute book, and I, it's in there. Hey, Adam. Yeah. So, do they want to take this in the county part No, I know. Can so you... Do you, we you yes, I, and I want... We're at the house. Why don't you take me inside the house? Just go ahead. Take me inside the house. I gotta grab a couple. Of, how long am I gonna be there? I don't know. Uh, what's today? Today's Saturday. So yeah, till today's Tuesday, because oh. courts not are open until till um. Today's Saturday. Yeah, they're not gonna be open till what Monday, Monday. or Tuesday, right? Monday public. Huh? So I'm gonna put this right here, partner. Yeah, go. Just put it. No, 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 no. Don't put it there. Where do you want? In my room. It's got, everything's gotta go in my room. I'm not going anywhere. Just I'm going in here to grab a few things. Just do me a no, 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 no. Use the mouse. Hit the Windows button. Okay, when it decides to. Yeah, okay, now see that little thing? Now hit sleep. Yep, click on that. Yep, click on that, and then it'll say sleep. It'll take a few minutes. There, sleep. There. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll do right. that. So I'm going to patch you down real quick so we don't have to take anything else down the county. I need to get some of my adult diapers. Okay. Well, they're I don't special know. and they're not thin and cheap and whiskey and fucked up and shit. I don't know if the county will take those. Well, why wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's packaged and it's unopened. They're packaged. Okay. And they're unopened. So yes, they will take them. I don't know if they will. I told you I don't know if they will. Oh, fine. But do they have any over there in case I need them? Do they? I don't know. Well, if they don't, then they're in trouble because they have to take care of me. Yes, please. You want your wallet? Yeah, I have to have ID on me at all times. You know that. All right then. Put your wallet back in your pocket. You got a cell phone you want to bring? Three fifteen. Yeah, we got one in custody. Right there on the charger. Can you put your wristband real quick, partner. Go ahead. I don't have anything on me. I don't keep much on me. And I need my keys to get, be able to get in. They're on my desk right there. Right yeah, those. Those? And my cell phone's on top of those. You're just going to plug it. Just give me one. And technically, I didn't have to answer my door. I know you know. didn't have to answer your door. And you would have had to get a warrant. And that warrant would have had to be based well, on something. We're not here arguing for that. I'm just telling you. I know, I, 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 I know I, my I, shit. I know too, so... Well, just mention that in the affidavit there. Do you know where her keys could be? No, I do not. I'm not responsible for that, so I don't know. Uh, fine. Ouch. You know, that hurts. That's not cool. Because she, she like has that, you know? keys. Well, she doesn't know where they're reason. at. She thinks that they're in, please, do not in here somewhere. I could actually start you guys with... The same thing that you're trying to charge me. Check that desk. Hey, if she had her keys, where at? I would not know. I'm. She keeps things in moving stuff, and I don't keep that. I'm responsible for the market. I'm not responsible for her. I'm not going to. So, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Can't find her keys. That's her problem. That's not mine. I'm the roommate. Can we lock it from the inside and shut the door and it's locked? Or we yeah, turn it. Here. Turn that. Well, here we can do it. it just turn that. Push it in. Turn it. And then lock it. Pull it closed. You need anything? Uh, I need my adult diapers. That's what I need. Did you look on her? Is that possible? Yeah. 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 Yeah, she says she doesn't know if these are the right keys or not. We can try them. I love the strategy. I had a silver tone um, electric with the um, amp in the case back in the day. Oh, wow. Really? And I bought that for 275 bucks no. back in the day. So what do you, do you use, like, some kind of synthesizer? Or um, no, I go in and I collaborate online. I grab people that have synthesizers and other equipment. Right. 
Do you use like mixed crap? Mm -hmm. Let's work for the top one. Ooh, I use virtual oh, DJ and oh, Chris Stapp. Yeah, yeah. Chris Audio. Really good recording. I think it's the first thing for the software or whatever. The neighbor was just saying that she has her granddaughter and she wanted to know if we could give them a spare key and I said I have no idea. If we could what? We could give her a spare key she has her granddaughter. You get that little pad thing and you just push the keys on it that's pretty cool. Get on the knobs and the top end of it. You can set your tempo and all that. Hey, do that. Look like it. Play a little bit of bass too. Oh, you do bass? Yeah. Well, that's fun. You know, you should go get on uh, Indie Sound, and you should go in there and punch up um, Armada Jenkinson. Armada yeah. Jenkinson? Yeah. I know Miley Cyrus. I know Billy Ray Cyrus. I know... For All right. You should uh, be good. Can you take him? Yeah. First, then sure. Another four minutes after that. Dude, you got like a musical ear then, huh? Do you oh, play yeah. by ear? Or? I play by ear. I got natural talent. That's pretty cool. Organic yeah. talent. We're going to follow out here. Mm -hmm. That's cool that you play music, man. Yeah, Since I produce you're 10 years music. old, huh? Yeah. yeah. I've been doing that a long time. Put some time in on it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm the nephew of Gordon Gano of the Violent Femme. This way. Do you make your own rips and all that? Hey, can you take them? You okay? Kind of reach out towards me. Yeah. Right. Ah, Sorry, yeah. Because we're gonna get it right there on paper. Yeah. Double lock them so they don't tighten up on you. Oh, I appreciate that. We'll talk about it when we get down to county, okay, partner? 